Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PGC Joe Chili Rain video. Dark Box is back, baby. It is back in full swing. Thanks to the new Galarian Moltres V. This card is fantastic in Dark Box. There's quite a few ways to play it. The way I wanted to play it today on the channel was going to be with the Dark Box archetype. I think Dark Box can actually be a legit good deck now. Thanks to Moltres. Thanks to the ability Dire Flame Wings. Allowing you to attach a Dark Energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon. Meaning you can be crushing hammer proof. You can get dark energy in the discard to then reattach. So you can just put multiple energy in play. Technically two energy in play a turn thanks to attaching and Moltres. So it's a great card and I think it makes Moltres uh, and Dark Box is really good thanks to Weavile moving the energy off Moltres and then you use your big dark attackers like Umbreon, Darkrai, Sabletar, and Grunazor. So before we do get in the video, um, PBCI at Pokemon did send me a Chilling Rain Elite Trainer box. So I opened it up. So stay tuned at the very end of the video to check out my Elite Trainer box that I opened up from TPCI. You can see what hits I got. So after the last game, do not click off the video. Make sure to go watch what I pulled. So big shout out to TPCI for hooking me up with a Chilling Rain ETB. So yeah, check it out if you want at the end of the video. So yeah, before we get the video, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, Get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys are looking to pick up any sets like Chilling Rain codes still, of course, you're looking for Chilling Rain pack codes or the Chilling Rain pre-release kit codes that have the Intellion promo, the Cresselia promo, or the ETB for Chilling Rain. Get them over at Card Cabin. Of course, you're looking for any other pack codes or anything like that. Get them all over at Card Cabin. Any codes over at Card Cabin, of course, guys, at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your purchase to help the channel, help yourself out, and help our Card Cabin too. So shout out to Karkham and check them out. Use Crawl DF. Also, if you want to check out the video articles I've been posting, and make sure to go give them a watch. So let's take a look at the list. So this is my dark box list that I am playing for today's video. Um, I have seen quite a few ways this deck has been uh, seen play. Um, I went through the Limitless tournaments, and there's been a lot of different versions of this deck. Some lists play Aurora Energy, and then they play like Galarian Zapdos. Some lists are using other GX attackers. Some lists play Silvali GX. Um, but I just basically kept it very basic today just straightforward basic dark box um again your big attackers green and zork doing 30 plus 30 more damage for each dark energy on all your pokemon of course every turn you're building up a ton of energy thanks to moltres um so this fuels the attack sable tar is amazing with greedy crush to knock out like a dedene and then you can take three prizes or ko a tag team to take even more prizes Umbreon on dark cry is fantastic too with black lance and dark moon gx being the big attack dark moon uh, can auto ko pokemon if you have six energy um, six dark energy on your active and then yeah you knock them out and they can't play trainers which is amazing so you get like another knockout after that because when your opponent can't play trainers odds are they're not going to knock out your pokemon in return and then we got incineroar for the mewtwo yes we are playing the mewtwo's in the deck uh if we're playing against urshifu we kind of need to play mewtwo to beat that archetype uh without it you know the matchup is a little bit hard because all your main attackers are weak to fighting except for moltres which is weak to grass so you got that going for you um, then we got Dedenne and Crobat and Mew. Now I'm playing Marsh Shadow and three Viridian. Viridian is a fantastic stadium with Moltres. If you have a Dark Energy in your hand, which we do play 11 of, we can discard a Dark Energy with the Viridian Forest, put in the discard pile, grab an energy out of the deck, attach the energy we grabbed with the Viridian, and then use that energy we discarded with Viridian to use with Moltres to get another energy in play. So yeah, Viridian makes Moltres busted. So that's why we're playing three of them. But Marsh Shadow's here because of one big card, Path the Peak. Path the Peak... Completely bodies our deck because we can't play Mewtwo, can't play Weavile, can't play Moltres. So we kind of have to play Marshadow to stop Path of the Peak and then also three Viridian just so we don't have to deal with Path of the Peak at all. Um, that's why we got them in the deck. Got three Cherish Balls, two comms. I have seen some decks use a tag call package. Personally, I'm not playing it. I am playing one Maulana though. It's like an extra uh, supporter to have. I wish maybe, maybe you could put tag call in the deck. If you want to add a tag call, you can. I am playing one Switch, a card that can be cuttable, but you never know when Switch will come in handy. I got one Stamp in the deck, of course. Sometimes you can go, like, Mewtwo Knockout, then into a Moltres, and then Stamp the one. Uh, I got two Balloons, two Big Charm to give you your Mewtwo more HP, 11 Dark Energy, four Marnie, four Research, three Boss. Very staple stuff. Yep. So, let's try out Dark Box today. Moltres V making Dark Box great again. Let's go try it out and uh, see how it does. All right, guys, here we go. Let's try out the Moltres Dark Box deck here. And see how we do. We win the coin flip. We will go first. Try to get that turn to Weavile going. And all right, we got a Mewtwo start. Pretty good hand. We can get Sneasel. We could get Moltres. Uh, but my opponent is mulliganing, so we get to see an extra card here. And oh no, bro. Three hammers off the rip. Oh no. But Crushing Hammer is not that bad when we have Moltres. So despite that card being a pain, we can still deal with it thanks to the beautiful Moltres, which is awesome. Looks like it's probably an ADP deck. I'm guessing it's ADP. That's if I had to take a guess. 
Uh oh, maybe not. Okay, we do draw another energy. Hmm. I mean, we kind of have to get Sneasel here. Playing Viridian if they're playing ADP is not really a good idea, but we're going to do it anyways because we do want to kind of just draw most of our cards here. Honestly, I might just do Dedenne just to get the energy into play. Because we can get extra energy in play if we do Dedenne here. But at the same time, I don't really want to get rid of this hand. I also don't really want to bench Dedenne. Well, we already have Weavile and Moltres in play, so I guess bench and Dedenne won't really matter. But I'm probably just waiting a turn. Yeah, I'm fine with waiting here. Next turn, we can maybe pop off. If everything goes well next turn, we should be able to find both Weavile, Moltres, and maybe an attacker... Like, I probably want to go Umbreon Darkrai, or at the very least, you want to go Umbreon Darkrai maybe into a Dark Moon, or into a potential, um, yeah, into a Dark Moon. <laughs> or maybe into Sabletar, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm gonna imagine this is ADP. I have to imagine it's ADP, and putting a Viridian to play for ADP does help them out quite a bit, because it does give them the free water energy, but... We want to use Viridian because we want to be able to get energy in the discard for ourselves for this deck to work. So we kind of had to play the Viridian as much as I didn't want to. Ooh, they play a big charm. So now we have to definitely try to go for that Dark Moon play. For sure. I'm actually going to switch an ADP, which is... I don't agree with that because we get a hit on it now. There's a Marnie. Yeah, see, now I'm glad I didn't play Dedenne because we can kind of hold our resources here. Hopefully our Marnie, the Marnie doesn't give us a bad hand. We have a lot of Pokemon search outs though. Yeah, easy peasy. There's a hammer. Will it get heads? It does not. Thank heavens. Uh, we might see another one here. Hopefully not. <laughs> no more hammers, please, bro. No Zacian either. That'd be great. No Zacian. We can put the big charm on the Mewtwo. So if they alter creation, which they probably will. We're not going to be able to kill this ADP next turn. Um, at least we can prevent Rusted Sword Zacian from KOing my Mewtwo. So big charm is going to be really good here. They just pass, which is amazing. We drew a quick ball, which can get us... Mm. Probably the Moltres, to be honest. I mean, yeah, because we have, like, Cherish Ball and stuff. We have way more draw outs uh, to find our other Pokemon. So we can just probably go Moltres here. Yeah, easy. Probably just have to... Looks like we're just going to go Greninja Zoark this turn. Which, you know, I'm fine with. That's not... Yeah, it's not bad. I'm fine with doing Greninja Zoark here. Not going to do that much damage. Or does Weavile just do more damage? We could also go into Aura Burn for 190. I don't really think that's necessary, though. I mean, what? Greninja's doing 30 plus 30. So that's 60, 90, 120. So I guess we do 10 more damage with Weavile. So I might as well just do Weavile then. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I guess we'll just do Weavile. And then next turn, we want to try to Dark Moon this ADP if we can. Um, and knock it out. That's the ideal plan. They have 180 HP. We can kill them with Greninja Zork next turn. I'm pretty sure if we can get, like, another Moltres and stuff going, see how it goes. Yeah, we can do that. We can also, we can knock him out with Moltres, actually, which wouldn't be bad either. I would rather do Dark Moon, but the Moltres option is there. Uh, there's Sabletar. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this, obviously, for Moltres. I mean, this is insane. Moltres is so good. Look at this. We're, we already have five energy in play. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Just, you get so much energy in play. I mean... Hmm. So what are we doing now? 60, 90, 120, 150. 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. So I guess Greninja Zork does KO the, mute, KO the ADP then, right? So then I guess we might as well go for the Dark Pulse. Because it does knock it out. Yeah, sure. I don't know. We could have... Yeah, this is fine. Because obviously we don't want we don't want Mew to get knocked out. But look at that math, bro. Literally the Weavile let us do 310 damage to follow up with, which is kind of insane. And, uh, I mean, we're very far ahead in this match now. And every turn, we can just keep playing this Viridian to keep dumping energy. But they do have a hammer, and they finally get a heads. Okay, so that will slow me down. Uh, it's gonna be a bit harder to kill the Zacian now. But I guess we can save Dark Moon for Zacian. Or, what could happen is we find Boss, and they bench Dedenne or Crobat. We can win by bossing them with Sabletar here and winning the game that way. Because we have, we'll have five energy in play next turn, or six energy even, because of Moltres' busted ability. Yeah, Moltres might not be attacking, but that ability is just too good. This Intrepid Sword, so they just, they're down bad. Okay, they do get energy, though, which is a little annoying. Um, It's all good, though. We can Dire Flame Wings. We can attach. Now we have six energy on. Now, if we do find the Sable Tar here, we're going to be in a pretty, or the, the Umbreon Dark Rider, we're going to be in a pretty good spot. 
we can dark moon ko this and well they can still attach an energy to ko me but then they can't play tool scrapper to remove my big charm which they could play a tool scrapper in their deck and i have a bad feeling they do because you adp is very unpredictable you do not know what they have in their deck so i have a bad feeling my opponent plays a tool scrapper like it's i have a in my gut i can feel it it might actually be pretty good here to try to get a dark moon off if we can so we can try to save the viridian to dark moon them let's do it let's do it there we go we need to figure out a way to kill this um this last station though but so it's either we go dark moon here we go dark moon they can't ko me and then we have to figure out a game plan from there how would we take our last prize? We just Woman Greninja Zor. Because we Dark Moon them. Then they can't play Crushing Hammer on top of that. Yeah, that seems pretty good. So yeah, I think we just go for the Dark Moon GX. Then they can't play Crushing Hammer. They can't remove my energy. And then we can build up even more energy because we can Viridian with the energy attached. We get two more energy in play next turn. And then we can just Greninja Zork and wipe the Zacian off the face of the earth. Now that seems pretty good to me, sir. So we just go Dark Moon GX. As long as they don't play something stupid like a Leon, which I highly doubt, we should win the game. They can't play Crushing Hammer. They can't play Tool Scrapper. The next turn, we just go Viridian, Attach, Moltres, Knockout, Greninja Zork for uh, like a billion damage. So they'd have to play like a Live Part, but they can't play Quick Ball. They can't play Supporters. They can't do anything. They are stuck right now. They can Crawbat for three. That doesn't really do much unless they actually do play something like a Leon. If they play a Leon, I mean, the game's probably just over. Um... Okay, they're really digging. They are playing a Dedenne here. It's a little annoying that they're finding more cards to play. But again, half of their deck, at least half their deck can't be used because ADP plays mostly like trainers. So like a good portion of their deck cannot be used. And there we go. Brave Blade for 290. The big charm coming in clutch. Letting my Mewtwo live with 10 HP. And just like that, Dark Box Mewtwo has defeated a ADP deck, which is awesome. So we can just go Dire Flame Wings... We can attach and just like that we built up like a jillion energy and dark pulse for like what how much is that 270 damage yeah not even a chance see you later zacian and yeah there we go we beat an adp deck with the dark box mewtwo deck which i think is a good matchup even with the crushing hammer the moltres it's just too good moltres is just too good of a card allowing you to get energy back for free like that to help dark box is amazing and we took down adp the worst nightmare so i will take it that was a pretty solid match all right here we go into another match with dark box here uh, we are up against potentially an ADP deck again, so it could be back-to-back -back ADP games, which, again, I think ADP is beatable as long as everything flows pretty well. And it looks like we are mulliganing here. Or not? No, we're going first. We get a Mewtwo start. We get Sneasel. Pretty solid opening hand, to be honest. We got energy to discard. We got Sneasel. Pretty good. Let's see what we're playing against. Okay, it's a Psychic deck. Okay. Psychic deck with Stamp and Tears. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> I have no idea. Could be Shadow Rider. The Shadow Rider, Mewtwo's kind of a goner, but we do have our Dark Boys to attack. That's if it's Shadow Rider. We'll see what it is. Drunkster card, why not? Ooh, Weavile. I think it's a Cursula deck. Well, they are weak to Dark. We do have Moltres, so this isn't actually that bad of a matchup. Um, as long as I don't play Mimikyu to shut off my abilities, because we lose Weavile, we might be screwed, because we kind of need Moltres to uh, carry us a little bit. Ah, I might hold the hand. I don't know. I kind of want to make sure we guarantee the Weavile. I'll see what they're playing. I don't get why they play Pierce, though. If they're playing Cursula, why do they play Pierce? Oh, they got Sableye in the deck. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. I mean, we can still knock it out, but... That is a bit of a threat, not gonna lie. That is a little annoying, especially because they already opened with their Curseless somehow. Dealing with the Sableye might be a little tough. Might have to knock it out with Moltres, to be honest. It might have to be the play. They're going first, get energy on, which is annoying. Well, what we can do is we can go attach the Sneasel. We can move it off. That kind of works out. Just research, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go for the research. Try to get as much energy in place as I can. Never mind. We got no Moltres off of that, which is very unfortunate. Um, I think we just want Greninja Zoark in this matchup. That's a very unfortunate whiff. Not getting Moltres there really sucks. Really wanted to get Moltres there. Yeah, attaching the Sneasel is fine because then we don't attach here. Then we can attach and then move the energy. So we can actually attach 
the energy to like Weavile and stuff so we can move it off of Weavile onto the Pokemon with no damage counters. If they're relying on Cursula to damage us, that kind of just counters their whole strategy. So we just got to pray they don't play Mimikyu to like body us. Yeah, not getting Moltres sucks though. Again, wanted to get the energy down so we can attack next turn. Probably want to go into the Greninja Zork though. You know, going into the Greninja Zork is probably the better play because it's just going to be able to one-shot Cursula a lot easier. As opposed to Mewtwo. There's a hammer. That's why I wanted to get the Moltres in play. Because they, I figured they'd play those hammers. So we want to make sure we keep keep the energy alive. So we can keep attaching it. Ooh, they're going, already going for that Holomus. They already sent up a KO here. Which is not good. Also not what we're looking for. We're going to attach the active. Because we already have the damage on us from that. I'm just going to Marnie them. I want to keep that Malana around if I can. I don't think Marnie's going to get us much. Oh, never mind, we got Moltres. No Weavile, though. That's a little annoying. Sneasel could get knocked out, potentially, which wouldn't be good. Yeah, not gonna Weavile sucks. We can't attack them here. We'll just pass, I guess. That's unfortunate. We have boss in hand next turn, so... I guess we can boss the Sableye, maybe. Knock it out with Greninja Zork. I th think we have enough energy in play, right? We draw Viridian. They're playing Arcazul, too. Oh my gosh, they got everything. There's a hammer. That could be a big head. And there we go. We get the energy back Moltres. Not a big deal, but it is still kind of sus. A little sus. Did they have an energy here to attack me with? Uh, three card hand. No energy one time. That'd be great. Who they got? Who they have? Honestly, maybe we can boss this. Never mind. They are going to Marnie my hand away. So there goes our research. Hopefully they whiff energy here. That's what I'm hoping for is they whiff energy. All right, there we go. We got Weavile. And we got Dedenne. All right, beautiful hand. That's a really good hand. We can get another Sneasel down, which I probably want to get. Yeah, I want to get another Sneasel in play if I can. Um, so yeah, we hope they whip the energy here to attack me. That would be great. They have a four-card hand. Uh, they're playing a split of energy. They got a low chance of finding it. Low chance of finding energy here. Probably. Hopefully. Please don't find it. It would be great. I don't think we have a way to knock out Sableye, do we? I don't think we do. We'd have to go Moltres. I want to play Spike Mouth too, but they do pass. Okay. There's an energy top deck, which is pretty good. So it's Dire Flame. We could try to find Switch or Maulana go into this. Nah, I don't really think that's necessary. So let's go Attach or Evolve. Sorry, Attach doesn't make any sense. Attach to the Weavile. Quick Ball for another Sneasel. Seems good. We could get Marshadow, actually. We have four energy in place. We are not get There's no way to knock this thing out, right? Currently, anyways. We could go... Well, we could go into Weavile and KO them, I guess. That's, like, our only chance to KO them. Let's get Marshadow. Let's just reset and hold the Spike Mouth away. Doesn't really do us much, but it thins out the deck by one card. Hold the Dene. We might have to go Weavile here. We'll see. Okay. Um, Big Charm this. I don't think I want to give them the Viridian. One switch... We only have one switch, though, too. We can't put a, a balloon on the Mewtwo. I think we should probably just attack them, right? I would just attack them here for whatever X amount of damage. We can hold the hand, too. They have a three-card hand. Don't really... We can hold the research in case they play another stadium. Well, we do want to find boss from Alolana for next turn. So I think actually we do research. I'm going to try to get a boss knockout Sableye. There we go. We got boss for next turn. Beautiful. Dark Pulse. Again, I... Pretty sure this isn't KOing them. Yeah, they're I think we're doing 150. Yeah. We're two energy off. That's fine. It's all Gucci. Yeah, next turn we're definitely killing that Sable IV. Right. This is kind of neat though. Being able to attach energy to the Weavile or to Dene even to then move it off. I think that's a pretty cool combo we got going on, so that's good. Oh, they had a research. Oh my god, rip. Okay, that's not good. Mewtwo can't get knocked out, though, so that's fine. But they find energy, which they definitely will find energy here. That's seven cards. Yep, there we go. Well, I didn't play the Viridian because I didn't want them to have basic energy out. So I got to imagine they play a split of Psychic and Dark, which, of course, they do. Nope, there's a hammer. That could be a huge heads. There it is. There is the head. So we can still do 180 damage, but that's one less energy we have to work with, which is annoying. They're doing 120. We can take two hits from Hollow Missile, which is good. Yeah, we're definitely killing that Sableye. That Sableye has to go. Has to, has to go. Probably gonna put damage on the Greninja Zoark. As long as we can just chase her Sableye, it's fine. Like, this sh again, this should be a pretty easy matchup. So let's go attach here. 
play the Moltres. We can go Weavile and Energy off. Boss of Sableye, evolve into Weavile number two, and take the knockout with Dark Pulse. And then next turn, we can go with our other Greninja Zorak, knock out this guy. We have another boss. So they mentioned another Sableye. We'll just boss it again. Uh, they probably just have to attach to the Sableye twice to power it up. So we can just keep bossing it constantly to KO it. We can use Dedenne and Moltres as like cannon fodder for the energy attachments. And then I'll play Mimikyu. Uh, we should be chilling. I do want to Malana this turn. We get hit. We'll be able to get knocked out by another Hollow Missile next turn. If they whiff energy this turn on their other Cursla, I think we're in a really good spot. But even if they KO Mewtwo, we're st I feel like we're still going to be pretty far ahead. We still stamp. They don't play that many draw acceleration systems other than supporters, so stamp could definitely be punishing to them. They got another Sableye, so now we're gonna boss it. Yep. Not the boss that Sableye. Maybe we just knock it out with Mewtwo, but then they can go knock out to Dene and Mewtwo and take five prizes, but then we stamp them the one. So maybe we do let Mewtwo die, so if they try to go like with a double knockout, we can stamp them the one. I think that's actually fine. Oh no, they play Turbo Patch. Uh oh. Oh no. So now they can just kill me with Sableye here. Yep, they have a dark in there. Shoot. Okay, that was, um... Not good. What do they do next? Robat? Well, that makes our stamp a little bit stronger. If that was a Dedenne, we could boss it with uh, Sable Tar. We'll see what they do. Okay, they are still going to Hollow Missile, which is fine. So I was hoping they would still do. So we can... I mean, we could just go Moltres, knock out the Sableye. I think we, we have to knock out the Sableye this turn, I feel like, no matter what. Let's see where they put the stereo damage. Let's see. Yeah, they're still going Greninja Zoark. We can go knock out Moltres, which feels okay. We can balloon it. Yeah, let's go with the Moltres knockout. Well, hard to treat. We don't really care about the energy in play right now. We survive with 10 HP. That was close. <laughs> okay. Go here, attach to the Weavile. Take some energy off because we have way too much energy on right now. On the Moltres, go boom, boom. And now we have the Moltres in our hand. So I don't think we're getting knocked out, right? So we just go boss a Sableye and Aura Burn for a knockout. We do put a little bit of damage on us. I do want to get a Viridian back in play now so we can get around the Spike Mouth. But let's see what our prize is here. Dark Energy and Crobat. We can play Crobat next turn, but we just win the game, right? There's not, no, no Curse can take a hit next turn from Greninja Zork or Moltres, so... Pretty much checkmated my opponent. And I really liked the idea of attaching to Weavile to, like, or Dedenne to move it with Weavile. That's actually a really cool counter to my opponent's deck here. That was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. I mean, we're not playing against, like, the best deck on the planet, but that's just a cool little interaction we had going for us. Attaching to something on the bench so our active doesn't take damage from Cursal's ability. That's pretty cool. Um, so I'm pretty sure we got them. They could still play a Crushing Hammer. They have one left. That could be problematic. We still can get two energy in play next turn. That's not going to stop my opponent. There's nothing they can really do. They have to have a single prizer that can do a lot of damage, which I don't think they have. Goon. Ooh, they could goon my... They could have gooned my Mewtwo. No, they still can't take... They can't take more than three prizes this turn, but they could have gooned my Mewtwo. And they kill my Mewtwo. We're going to go stamp to three and go from there. We'll see if they get energy on. They are down. They're down five dark energies. Six dark energy. So unlikely they even have energy for Sableye. Never mind. They do. But Sableye's not really a threat anymore, in my opinion. Because we're going to win the game. They have nothing that can survive a hit from Moltres. They would have had to have used... They would have had to go on, like, a doll, and then... Hope they didn't boss us, have a boss, and then... Boss my Greninja Zoark the following turn with Sableye. That'd be their only way to win the game. They're going to retreat here, which is fine. Um, going to Rare Fossil. Oh, I guess that does buy them the turn. It's not going to matter, though. Because Mewtwo still lives a turn. They're also bench-locked. So they... Yeah. So that doesn't even matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Go here. Evile. Energy there. I think we have another Dire Flame to do. Right? Do we? We do. Yes, let's go. Building up energy with Moltres. And then we can go... Okay, we don't have game just yet. But my opponent also can't win. Well... I guess what could happen... No, my opponent can win. They can still go boss, energy, goon... No, they can still win, actually. So we got to be careful. We have no way to knock this out. We don't... Hmm. The only thing I'm thinking... We could win with Mew. 
We'd have to knock out our Mewtwo somehow. I don't think we can. You know what? If we attach to the Mewtwo there, we could have knocked out our Mewtwo and then found our Mew to win the game. That actually would have been a big brain ass play. That's what I should have done. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Okay, let's just Marty them, I guess. Fine. That's what I should have done, though. Oh, we would have had it too, bro. No. Okay. If I drew Switch, I could have went for the play too. Right, never mind. No, I couldn't. So I should have knocked out my Mewtwo. Is it too late to knock it out? I think it is. Oh my gosh. I didn't see that big brain play. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of... I'm sad, bro. I'm sad. We could do it next turn, though. Yeah, we could do it next turn. It's not really a big deal. Some's going to pass. I'm not going to knock them out so that they can't... Bench. Well, they can discard it from play, I guess. No, they can still win the game, actually. They can still go goon boss. Oh, my gosh. So I actually could have won the game with my Mew play there. Dang it. I should have seen that. Oh, my God. They got another turbo patch. No, dude. So if they just have goon and boss, we lose. That's that's annoying. Please don't have it. They have to have goon and boss in their four-card hand. They can't bench anything else because then they can't bench goon. I can't scoop him at anything. Well, I guess I could scoop him at the Dark Dizzle. Dang it. If only I went for that Mewtwo play. We could have gone punished, though, because we whipped the Mew. We would have been, like, kind of screwed. But we had a lot of... We still had a lot of stuff. We had Quick Balls, Comms. I always should have went for the Mew play there. Oh, my God. I didn't see the Big Brain play, bro. I saw the play to counter them, but I... Oh, my... And I marnied them into the perfect hand to win the game, too. Oh, my gosh. Please don't have it. Please don't have it. They probably have it. Okay, they don't have it. You love to see it. You love to see it. They hit the Moltres. Unless they have another Scubanet in their hand. That could be... T uh, they don't have room for Scubanet. Yeah, okay, nice. Oh my gosh. What a game. That was... I mean, we can win with Greninja Zoark, I'm pretty sure. But we're obviously gonna go for the Mew play there, right? Yes, sir. So, yeah, I would have won the game a turn earlier had I got Mew. But, uh, yeah, the big brain play could have happened. Didn't see it. Who cares? We can go bench Mew, Viridian, Retreat, Weavile, Psy Power, game over. And we weren't losing this turn anyways. Even if we weren't winning this turn, we weren't losing because my opponent didn't have any way to take four prizes. Well, no, they could have still knocked out Mewtwo, but I don't know if they play another net or not. So yeah, that was a pretty interesting match. So many different things we could have done with our deck there. Uh, yeah, they didn't play Scuba Net. Yeah, so we didn't have to worry about that at all with the Goon. Still, though, we could have won turn earlier if only I saw the Big Bang play. I saw the one Big Bang play, but I didn't see the second one. Uh, what did we just get? Coins, I think? Yeah, okay. All right, let's get into another match. Okay, into another match. Unfortunately, I think we've ran into an Eternatus VMAX deck, which is tough because of things. But we have Incineroar and Dark Moon, so maybe it's not too bad. Um, okay, wow. This is uh, not a great opening hand. Well, no, maybe it is, because we can still go with a turn two Moltres. Um, we do a Cherish Ball. Okay, we could Dedene, which... Yeah, I think that's fair. Definitely, I think Dedene, if it's not prized, we get Mewtwo or something. It's in the deck. Well, they do play Snorlax, though. I don't know what to expect. Yeah, we will Dedene. We get energy in the discard from Ultra. It seems pretty good. Nice, nice. Pretty good hand. All right. Yeah, I don't usually get good hands on PC Joe, but uh, that's a pretty good uh, Dedene. We'll just hold the hand for a turn, of course. The only problem is we did lose Boss. So we don't have Boss available to us now. That's all good. Yeah, next turn we can threaten with a turn two Moltres attack, which seems pretty decent. Or we have the Weavile play. We can maybe Black Lance. I don't know what they're playing. It could be an Orbital deck. Oh, but they do Marnie my... They Marnie away my poor hand. Rip. It's fine, though. We still threaten the Moltres. They could put us one step closer to a boss. Right? Nope. Pretty good hand, though. We can still research and stuff. There's a Quick Ball. What are they playing? Ooh, they're playing a Colossal deck. Okay, so it has to be the Mewtwo show, because, of course, we are weak to dark. Well, most of our stuff are weak to dark. Okay, we can beat Colossal. I think Colossal's winnable for sure. Um, I think the big thing is we work towards a dark moon, but we also have Incineroar. If they attack, we have the Incineroar too, so pretty good stuff. Football's a good top deck. We get rid of Greninja Zoark, I think. I don't really want to bench the Crobat. I think I'm going to research. I'm not going to bench Crobat because I don't want to. To be fair, I wouldn't mind boss chasing this, but we always have the Mewtwo to fall back on. Right. I don't think that's fair. So it's Dire Wing Flames. Dire Flame Wings, whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, 
I'll play the Viridian. They could play Path, but I'll play the Viridian now just to get energy in the discard for next turn. The big thing is, is we want to work towards a... What do we want to work towards? We want to work towards the big Dark Moon next turn, which we can pull off if we can find Air Balloon or something. Or just Aura Burn. Putting the uh, Weavile in play is kind of sketchy because my opponent could boss KO it. That's why I didn't want to bench Crobat because I don't want them to go boss Weavile, boss it, and a boss Crobat to win the game. Right? I don't want to give them that. That's fine. We'll take the KO. We want to be able to balloon this guy next turn so we can go into Mewtwo. And we can pull up a Dark Moon next turn if all goes well. So that seems good. Thanks to Moltres's busted absolutely insane ability. Putting the energy in play, man. Moltres is so good. Moltres is cracked. Uh, they could not KO me. Even if they get a Dojo, they can't knock out my Moltres. But they play Capture Energy. They might play Cheryl because they play Snorlax. Which tells me they play Sinchino in the deck. Which tells me they play Cheryl. That could be a bit of an uphill battle. But if we deal with the Colossal, we win the game by bossing their things on the bench. Oh, they failed the Capture Energy, I think. Yeah, they failed it. That's Capture Energy, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Rough and Shot will hit me for a lot of damage. We just need to go into the play we want to do. AK Dark Moon. We just need to find a Balloon. And will we find it? Find out next time. Another deck by an Energy... Yep, two balloons are in the deck. Ugh, here we go. Will we find the balloon? We could boss the Guru. No. If worse comes to worse, we can always just attack the Colossal and hit it for a bunch of damage to KO with Mewtwo. And we got the balloon. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then, I mean, now at this point, we're just working towards a big knockout with like a Greninja Zoark on the last Colossal. Or if they bench a two prizer. Let's go Dire Flame Wings and beautiful little combo here. Let's put all the energy on at the active and we are going to Dark Moon GX them. It's in the discard, right? Yeah, it's in there. There we go. That's that's the power of Moltres. Just super fast Dark Moon GXs. Uh, you know, big fat VMAXs. Don't stand a chance to the Dark Moon GX. And just like that, we're not winning the game just yet. My opponent can still actually attack me if they have Colossal and two energy in their hand. Or an energy with the Viridian combo. So they can still attack me. It's not, the game is far from over, but we're at the point now where we can try to just go a Greninja Zoark. And if they bench a two prize or like a Dedenne or something, we win with boss. We have Malolana here too. So they hit me with the Colossal. We just play Malolana, heal the Mewtwo, wing with like Greninja Zoark. If we just build enough energy, we should be good. Let's see if they got it. They do have a Mewtwo to put Marnie on top. They can't play it though because of their trainer locked from the Dark Moon. We just see them scoop the game up. Yep, just like that. Mewtwo, Dark Moon, Moltres, super fast energy acceleration. I'm going to wrap the video, guys. Of course, I don't want the video to be too long because I do want to... I am putting the uh, the lead trainer box opening that TPCI sent me at the end of the video. So, yeah, Dark Box is back, baby. We had some pretty cool matches there. The second match, I know we weren't playing against the most competitive of decks, but it was still a pretty cool, pretty cool uh, showcase of how you can kind of beat that deck with the attachment to the bench. Moltres is an insanely good card. I think there's so many cool ways you can play it. Let me know down below if you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like on the video also would help. And again, uh, subscribe to the channel. Help me the road machine some su uh, 17,000 subs. Check out Card Cabin. And I'll see you guys in the Elite Trainer Box opening next. And uh, check out my polls. Okay, so we got the Elite Trainer Box sent to me here by Pokemon TPCI. So a big shout out to Pokemon TPCI for sending me the Elite Trainer Box. I'm excited to open it up. I do have... The Pokemon Center one, too. I'm not going to be opening this one up, though. I'm going to keep that sealed. Um, but it's kind of cool. I got two Shadow Rider box. Kind of wish I got the Ice Rider box, to be honest. Just to have both. Uh, but yeah, we're going to open up this Chilling Rain Elite Trainer box. These were the pulls I got from the Booster box that I opened. It was these cards right here. These are the pulls I got out of the Booster box. It was a pretty good Booster box. You know, the Shadow Rider, the Zapdos, the Blazing Secret Energy. A pretty good Booster box. And now we are going to be opening up this bad boy here. And I got my sleeves. Unfortunately, I only have one yellow sleeve uh, to not match the other. So let's open up this box real quick. Let me just get my little pocket knife here to guarantee that I open this. Okay, there we go. It's opened. And it's no longer sealed. Not gonna lie, bro. Chilling Rain, I don't think there's much, like, sealed potential for this set. Other than the set, the Pokemon Center box is really good. But I think there's center boxes for Evolving Skies. Evolving Skies is going to be an insanely valuable set. Um, there's, like, the Evolutions. Yeah, the Evolving Skies is a nut set for uh, collectors and sealed investors and all that good stuff. So let's open up this box. We got the rule book, pretty standard stuff. Uh, ooh, ah, it fell. Oops. 
I dropped my box here. I need to clean up my room, bro. There's no, I don't, I'm running out of space for everything. I had to make space for something here, which I wish I was using to record this, but unfortunately, one of my parts has not arrived yet. Um, so we got this little thing here. Boop, pop this off. And uh, we got uh, we got the rule book, of course, which for some reason still has battle cells on it. Kick W. Um, I think there's, uh, there's dice in here. Yeah, there's some dice. Purple dice. Purple's one of my favorite colors. Uh, take this out real quick. Yeah, I really need to get room in my room. We got our packs here. We got eight packs of chillin' rain. Pretty dope. And uh, we got energy. We got the code. Uh, well, you guys aren't going to see that. I'm going to redeem that anyways. And then we got some of the sleeves here. Apparently, these sleeves are not that great quality uh, because the Battle Styles ones are here. I don't know how good a quality the sleeves are, but I'll take them. Free sleeves are free sleeves, you know? Cool. End of the day. All right. Well, I think without further ado, let's start opening up the... Killing rain packs here. We got eight of them. See if we get any hits. Um, I think if I remember correctly, we want to hide the the code card if we can, just so you guys don't see what I pull. Hopefully there isn't too much blur in this. Don't worry, the next pack opening video I do, there won't be any uh there won't be a way it won't be recorded with a webcam, I'll just say that. So we got Shup It, got Cast Form. Just did a video on that. We got Ghastly, Cub Fu. Tina, water energy, impact energy. Ooh, we got a path. That's pretty good. We got Drizzle, Ampharos, and yeah, no hit. We got an Obama's note. Yeah, there's no hit in that. Path Peak. Cool, I guess. Let's open up this next one here. Yes, yeah, so when I open them, I gotta try to hide the code card if I can. So let me just... I'm not looking at the code card. I'm gonna put that behind me just so I don't know what I pull. I don't want to spoil it. We'll see how many hits we get. I've seen some people ZTBs, the other Contra players that got them. And we got Slowpoke, Weedle, Clobopus, Mareep, Gallade. Ooh, nice. Uh, oh, that was, was that the ring? I haven't seen the first hall yet. Curlia, Flora. There's a hit in this, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there's a hit. I can see the shine. No, there isn't. Bro, no, I got clickbaited. Oh, wait, no, I messed that up. Okay, well, funny enough, I got Curlia, Rolls, and Gallade in the same pack. The Gallade was rare. I got confused. Okay, so I messed the order of that up, LOL. That's kind of funny. So we got earlier Rolls in the same pack, but I don't know if you guys can see if I can focus here. Um, the top of the Curlia here is kind of like, look at that. That looked like a sparkle to me. That's why I thought we got a hit. So that's unfortunate. Lol. That means, yeah, we got a green code. Oh, no. All right. Hopefully we can get two hits. There's eight packs in this. The center, I think the Pokemon Center box has eight packs also. There was 10, but it, it was an error. But... Pokemon apparently corrected that, so. I think we get like free stuff if you got the if you got the center box. Alright, we got Sneasel. Snover. Blitzel. Ghastly. Coffee. There might be a hit in this. I can see that same effect, but it might be the same thing where it's like a rare that's been like hollowed out. We got Fog Crystal, Brawly, Reverse Golurk, and the rare is not a hit. It is a hollow beedrill though, so it's a hollow. But yeah, look at the top. The top is very like kind of like cutty. So it looks like it's a shiny card. Like, it looks like it's a hit, but it's not. That was a white code card, at least. All right, so we got five packs left. Let's open up this last Chilling Rain pack here. Let's open up this Shadow Rider one, because it's got a hit in it, obviously, right, guys? It's always got a hit in it. All right, I'm not looking. Got my eyes closed, so I can't see the color of the code card. And all right, here we go. At least now, when I get my uh, new tool to record pack openings, I can have face cam while I do this. All right, we got Deerling. Delibird, Larvesta, Reap, Heracross, Metal Energy, Cybold, Earlia, ooh, chill, Agatha, First Hollow, Melanie, and our rare is a Weezing, oh boy, the Melanie. So the last, okay, so last time I opened up an ETB that was sent to me by Pokemon, uh, the first one I got with the Battle Styles, the only hit I got was this Coco VMAX. So well, hopefully we can get at least one hit. Hopefully we don't end up getting just one hit of this ETB like we did the last one. Uh, but I might have another ETB to open up, uh, courtesy of Card Cavern. We'll have to just see if I feel like opening it. If it's the blue one, I'm, I might keep it sealed. All right. I ain't looking. My eyes are closed. I can't see the color of the code. All right. If we get a hit, either Shadow Rider or Ice Rider. I kind of want to get a Metagross, too. I really like that artwork. Uh, Sobble. Bounce Sweet. Diglett. Larvesta. Inkay. Psych Energy go with the Inkay. 
cards falling off my desk. Dynatree Hill, Justified Gloves, Lucky Energy, and Heracross in the rare is... Oh, we got a Rainbow Rare Doctor. Oh, shoot, bro. The Rainbow Rare... Rainbow Rare... Okay, unlike PECGO, Rainbow Rares are actually the most valuable arts of this. And if I, if I remember correctly, the female supporter full arts have actually been going up in price recently because of all the simping. That is amazing, bro. Let's go. Not a playable card, but it is a actual like a uh, like a I think it might be a money card. I'll have to I don't know the price of it. I'll have to check though. But all right. So we got one hit out of the EP. I will take it. That means yep, the code card was white. Cool. It wasn't a green code card. All right, let's see if we can get another hit. That was pretty good. I'll take it for sure, for sure, for sure. No cap. Let's open up this next pack here. Got my eyes closed. I can't see what I... What color's the code card? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Cast form. Larvesta. Sobble. Ladyba. Cuvit. Metal... Or lightning. Dynatree. Spiral energy. That's actually a good pull. Um, reverse Passimian's pretty nice. Oh, shoot! We got another hit. We got a Moltres. All right, let's go. That's a really good card, too. Moltres is a very, very playable, very playable pull. All right, not bad, bro. Moltres, I like it. Moltres is a great card. I'm trying to figure out how to make it work for a video. So we got two packs left. Let's open up the Moltres one because we just pulled a Moltres. Let's go, bro. We got ourselves a Moltres. All right, we got my eyes closed. Can't see the card or the code card. You guys, I don't think you guys saw that yet. It's not a, it's not a frame. All right. Back to back. It's, I think. Let's go. We got Lobapus, Grookey, Sneasel when it focuses, Weedle, Fire Energy, Flannery, Old Cemetery. Sorry for it's not focusing. Dini, Galarian, Parfetch. There's not a hit in this pack. I think I saw it. Yeah, there's no hit. It's a Kecleon. All right. It's a dude. All right. One pack left to go. Galarian Zapdos. Will we get a hit or will it be just a back or, well, yeah, double hit or triple hit what do you guys think it'll be i'm hoping i'm hoping it's double hit i'm gonna do this with my eyes closed so i don't accidentally see anything i'm not supposed to uh just try to keep it kind of suspenseful so my eyes are closed Go card is down and here we go we are now ordering the cards and here we go i'm gonna open it up once this focuses rockra ghastly ladyba um Oregon. There we go. It's focused. Whirlix. Fine energy. Oregon 2. Reboot. Roll the skies. Versus Justify Gloves. And will we get a hit in the last pack? We do not. We get a Malamar. I'll take it though. All right. Honestly, I'm fine. You know what? I got two hits and I'm glad I didn't just get one hit. We got two more cards to add to our collection of chilling rain pulls. Bro, my air conditioning is blowing around my stuff. Um, so all the ch so these are all the pulls I got from the booster box and the ETB sent to me by TPCI. Honestly, I'm pretty proud of it. You know what? We got decent amount of playable cards. I'm glad we got the Moltres. I do like that card. It is there's a lot of really cool ways to play it. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the best way to make it for a video. The Doctor Rainbow Rare is nice again. I'm not sure how much it'll go for, but I might look into it. Um, maybe sell it or something. But yeah, big shout out to TPCI for sending me the uh, Elite Trainer box. I'm pretty happy with the pulls. We got two hits, which I'm happy about. It's better than the uh, Coco VMAX I got out of the last one. And uh, I think that'll wrap up the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out Car Cabin down below. Use code LDF if you get any codes. Uh, check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Patreon down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Help me on the road reaching 17,000 subs. And I'll catch you guys in another PCGO video tomorrow. Have a good day.